the wild card who has been enthusing the crowd all week continues to do it today another spectacular victory jill so wonderful to have you here at our tc desk first before anything what is going through your mind right now <laughs> Um, I was just thinking that, like, what should I answer? I don't even know what to say, honestly. Um, it's just been an incredible week here. I've been feeling well since the beginning. Uh, I like the conditions. Uh, I feel fit. Uh, my game's, game is on. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm just feeling it. <laughs> you had a big win earlier this year over Svitolina in Madrid. This week, it's been Osaka, Bencic, now Pliskova, all just giant names in our, in our sport. Just how are you putting it all together? What's clicking this week? Um, just my, my game yeah, overall. Um, I've been, I've had a very tough uh, last few months. Sorry. Um, a lot of injuries uh, and I've been working a lot uh, in all kinds of ways, uh, mentally, physically, all my strokes and I guess I'm just uh, putting the puzzle together and it's working out. It's always tough when you go through injuries, sometimes yeah. you get points of self-doubt and so forth. Has the belief always been there or, or this is really helping with that? Um, if I'm honest, uh, I've had the worst months of my life, I'm not going to tell you. I mean, I'm, I'm still young, so it's okay. <laughs> You're very young. <laughs> it's still okay. Um, but yeah, it's been tough. Uh, I guess uh, I would say the belief never left, but uh, I was really down, uh, I have to say. But I mean, I just uh, looked at it as a, uh, as a challenge, um, looking day for uh, by day and here match by match, and now it's finally working. When you, when you have a life-changing week like this, which has just been so special, and by the way, thank you for taking us all on the ride, <laughs> getting the crowd involved. We feel like we've been on the ride with you. Do you look back and sort of think about these difficult moments, even in the last few months, or challenges you've had to go through earlier in your life to, to get here? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's not it's not even a month or two months uh, ago I, I was crying, you know. So uh, right now I'm smiling all around. Um, I'm loving the, the people around here. I'm loving the crowd. And it just reminds me why I play tennis. Uh, I guess uh, the main reason I play is uh, to play in, in big stadiums against uh, good p good players uh, and just uh, enjoy the show, let's say. like uh, I'll put it that way. That's a, that's a beautiful thing to hear and a beautiful moment to witness you here. Now, you talked about the big players and the big stadiums. doesn't get any bigger. It's going to be a packed house tomorrow. <laughs> and, oh, it's perfect. You love, love the big it. stage. No, no, that's it. That's, it. that's, what, that's why I play, I'm telling you. <laughs> beautiful. Well, listen, you're going to face an even higher ranked opponent, best in the game right now, number one player in the world, Ash Barty. Your thoughts? It looks like you're looking forward to it. Yeah, I mean, Ash, as you just said, is number number one in the world. Uh, she's uh, been winning a lot of matches. Uh, she's been holding a number one. Uh, she's a great player, great, great person as well. Yeah. Um, so for me, it's uh, of course a challenge. I'll, I'll be the underdog, but I'm not. A, I'm not scared. She is not scared. I know you'll bring that big lefty swinger and that lefty yeah, forehand. You. Wishing you all the best of luck, ladies Thank and you. gentlemen. Thank you. Story of the week, Jill Teichman, wild card, moves into the final. She will take on the number one player in the world, and she is up for the challenge. Stay around, still a blockbuster men's semifinal. Coming up, top of the hour, Stefanos Titsipas and Alexander Zverev. You don't want to miss this.